Yes, I, I'm uh, on this base, Mikhail uh, Kogelnissanou, which is uh, close to Constanta in the east of the country. And uh, this is where Emmanuel Macron spent the night after spending some time with the French uh, soldiers here on the base. There are uh, 500 French soldiers deployed here uh, in uh, Romania as part of the NATO effort to contain uh, Russia uh, that has, as you know, invaded neighboring Ukraine. Now, you can see behind me uh, this red carpet uh, where uh, the uh, Romanian president... Uh, uh, Klaus Ioannis will be arriving, Klaus Ioannis and Emmanuel Macron, who are going to have a bilateral discussion with the main themes will be, the main themes will be, uh, well, of course, the war in Ukraine, but also uh, the creation of a European uh, political uh, 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 co uh, community, uh, which is an idea in order to give more support uh, to the neighbouring countries of Romania, mainly. Uh, but these countries are the ones who access to EU membership rapidly in the face of this Ukrainian invasion, that is Moldova, Georgia and Ukraine. The idea is to give them uh, some sort of a waiting chamber, if you will, well, because indeed it's always a, a long process and this is going to be a, a large part of this discussion between uh, both heads of state and then of course uh, there is the support that the EU and NATO are bringing uh, Romania who is on the front line when it comes to this uh, threat on uh, the east of uh, Europe uh, this base for example we visited it yesterday well uh, the French are actually created a long term creating a long term camp here it's being built it is due to last four to five years or longer, if required, uh, France is going to boost its military presence in Romania. Uh, it is expected that they will send a thousand troops with heavier uh, tanks, probably Leclerc class tanks. Uh, so, yes, uh, military subjects, of course, but also political subjects uh, at a time uh, when there is an upcoming EU summit. And as you mentioned then, James, I mean, it's quite extraordinary, is it, that Emmanuel Macron really wanted to shore up that, uh, that link and, the, and that sort of effort with the, the, the French troops who are actually sleeping with them there in those uh, barracks behind you. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Emmanuel Macron uh, landed here yesterday around 7 p.m. The first thing he did after uh, being greeted by uh, the Romanian Prime Minister was to go straight to the troops. Now, first he took a tour of uh, the base where some representative of each of the French and Belgian units who are under French command here uh, presented their equipments to uh, the French president. Uh, then he spoke to everyone, telling them how uh, the nation and himself were uh, very grateful and very proud proud of these soldiers who were able to deploy in just days after uh, the Russian invasion in uh, Ukraine. And uh, then he went on to have dinner with the troops. And one of the colonels who commands the units here was telling me how important it is for, well, simple rank soldiers to get a chance to meet and speak to the supreme commander of the French armed forces, who is, of course, the president of France, and how it was a very important link in the hierarchy and how it boosts morale. And then, well, the president was due to sleep off base in a hotel uh, close to uh, close of, to, to where I'm standing well finally he decided after his dinner to stick in the base to stay here spend the night